What's up guys, Legionnaire here doing another updated mod assistant tutorial on how to install mod assistant as well as going over some new features, answering common questions, and downloading custom songs. This will be a two part video as the second part we will discuss how to download custom sabers, avatars, and platforms. Also, PS4 users know there is no way of getting mods, so please stop asking about it. You will have to get by by simply purchasing or getting free music packs that the developers release. Arclus Quest users, this is not the tutorial for you. A link of how to set it up will be in the description and just note not all mods will be available to Quest users. Let's go. Now, whenever installing something new, make sure to run the game once and close out of it. After that, you need to go into bsaber.com. From there, hover over to the plugins mod and then PC mods. Then hover over to Mod Assistant, click on it. You will be dropped into another page of the latest Mod Assistant version where you will download the .exe file. Very simple. Click on it. Okay, now you have it downloaded. Once you click on it and open it, which I unfortunately not going to be doing it because I already downloaded Mod Assistant, but what should happen is it will automatically locate where your Beat Saber folder is. And if not, just manually locate it and proceed. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised that not a lot of people don't know where they drop their games in. Like, how is that even possible? But I have gotten questions about how to locate it. So I will be brief about it. Going into Oculus, go to Library, find Beat Saber, click on the three white dots, Details, and then you have the location. Just click on it and then paste it into the file path. For Steam, go to Library, just pretend that this is Beat Saber, click on it, right click on it, properties, local files, browse local files, and then you'll see lead you to the uh, bsaber folder file. Once you've completed this step, pat yourself on the back now for the fun part, mods. If you're new to mod assistant first time, you'll be introduced to this welcome page. What this basically says is that BeatSaber does not natively support mods, so whatever issues the mods might create, it is not the BeatSaber game fault. Just click I agree. Going into the options tab section, you want to make sure that the installation folder path is set to your Beat Saber folder path. Continue to check mark every single box, especially the one click install, which will save you a bunch of time. Trust me, I know I have a BS degree. Make sure the game version is up to date as well, which is very important. Moving over to mods. When you enter, you will already have pre-checked mods that will automatically set you up for downloading custom songs. My God, I kid you not, things are being more automatic nowadays for you lazy ducks out there. Besides having those pre-checked mods, you can go over and select the mods you want, read the descriptions of what they do, or click mod info down below to get a full breakdown of those specific mods that you choose. And then all you have to do is just click install or update. Very simple. Once you do that, run the game and your mods will appear in the game and beat saber folder. But wait, there's more. If by chance the mods you install are not working, then two things could have happened. One, they are outdated as indicated when in red, so every now and then make sure you have the latest version. If there is no updated version, then you simply have to wait until there is one. Typically mods stop working when the developers of the game release an update or music pack and each individual modder needs to update their mods. And holy hell, the amount of people that can't live without their mods for even a day, they start to whine, falling into depression, like calm the fudge down. Play some other game and come back to it and don't blame the developers that they are trying to make modding harder. It's their game, they do whatever they want. This is why I recommend following them on social media to be updated and not surprised for when the time comes. Also, you can uninstall mods to the right. If you find that a particular one is messing up everything, then you can just go ahead and uninstall it. The second reason is you must have accidentally not entered the right file path to your bsaber game folder, so make sure that is all correct. Going over to bsaber.com, again, click songs and you can filter out whatever type of song you want. This is my most highly recommended method to downloading songs, as well as some of you may even say, why would I spend time here if I can go in game? Look at mods tab left hand and click on more songs. Well, yes, you can do that, but sometimes it's not what you're expecting. I can't tell you how many times I spent downloading songs through the in-game menu only to be disappointed and deleting them from my library. 
through bsaber.com, I will not only be allowed to search a song and see the level of difficulties, but listen to it by pressing the music icon. Or play an in-game preview of it by hitting the play button. Once you've chosen a song, simply click the cloud icon, which represents the one-click install method, and it will automatically drop it into your songs folder. Wow, super easy. But in the case of an update occurred, then you would have to manually drop the song into the folder by pressing the down arrow icon. Extracting the content and dropping it into the custom levels folder, which can be accessed easily through mod assistant. Open it up again, options tab, and open folder. Deceiver data and drop the song file into the customs folder, I mean customs levels. In case that you need a completely uninstall and reinstall of the game, make sure to copy your custom folders to your desktop as well as your song scores by opening the app data on Mod Assistant and saving the local leaderboards that, local leaderboards that, and then the player data that. And once you reinstall the game, all you have to do is just drop in these back into the same file folder that you found them as well as all the custom folders into their original spots. If you haven't already joined the B-Zero modding Discord, then I highly suggest doing so to get some help with any issues you are dealing with. But please be respectful and appreciate the time someone is actually going through and helping you, even if the results doesn't end up to your liking. Don't hate the helper, hate the mod. One thing that benefits to going back to Mod Assistant and going to Open Logs some moderators would request this to pinpoint the issue, so you would just copy this and paste it on the Discord channel. As always, feel free to ask questions down below in the comments sections, and I'll try my best to help out. And if not, again, the BCR Modding Discord is there to help as well. Not only that, but I encourage everyone to help one another when they can. If you made it for this whole video until the end, you deserve my phrase and spread this knowledge, share this video to your friends or to whoever is a Beat Saber enthusiast. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'm very happy to have reached my goal of 200 subs, so my next goal is 300. I know we can do it. You're all B-Saber champions in my mind, and I bid you all a good day. I'm out. Peace.